Hi kids! Welcome to Science 4. For today's lesson is about proper disposal of waste materials. Our main objective is to demonstrate proper disposal of waste according to their properties of its materials. Come on! Let's go and have fun! And now, let's have a short review. What are the effects of exposure to decaying waste on the environment and to our health? Very good! Next question. What can you do to help lessen these effects to man? That's right! Have you gone to hospital and markets? All right. What are the waste materials commonly found in the hospitals? Very good. What common wastes can you find in markets? You're right! If I ask you to dispose them, how will you do it? And now, let's have your activity. It was entitled, How Will I Dispose Waste Materials? For Group 1, you are going to classify materials according to its properties, whether it is decaying or non-decaying. For group 2, you are going to list down 3 materials under kitchen waste, garden waste, and factory returnable. For group 3, you are going to list down at least 3 safety precautions in disposing waste materials according to its properties. For group 4, we are going to demonstrate proper disposal of waste through a role play. Are you ready? You may start. And now, let's have your group presentation of your output. Based on your activities, let's answer the following questions. What are the properties of each material? Very good! Some of the materials will decay and some are non-decaying. For number two, which of these materials will decay? You're right! We have leftover food, banana peel, calamansi, onion, and tomato. What about the materials that are non-decaying? You're right. We have plastic bottle, plastic bottle of alcohol, plastic gloves, and face mask. Which of the materials are made of plastic? Very good! We have the plastic gloves, the empty alcohol bottle, and empty drinking bottle. Which of these materials are kitchen waste? Very good! We have leftover foods, Banana peel, onion, tomato, and calamansi. Which of the materials are garden waste? You're right. We have twigs and leaves. Which of the materials are factory returnable or can be used as recycled. 
Very good. We have carton or boxes. We also have empty plastic bottles. Next question. How will you dispose these waste materials? That's right. To dispose of the materials properly is to use a technique or procedure. We call it total recycling scheme, which utilizes wastes into factory returnables, fertilizers, feeds, fermentables, fuel, fine crops, and filling materials. This recycling helps us to lessen the amount of garbage we have to dispose. Next question. Where did you place the materials that undergo decay? Very good. You can make a compost or compost feed for your decaying materials. What are you going to do with the materials that undergo decay to make it useful? You're right. You make a compost. When you say compost, it is waste materials that are recycled as fertilizer. What did you use in disposing the waste materials? Correct. You can use gloves or masks. Why did you use those gadgets in disposing waste materials? Very good. You use them to avoid being punctured by sharp materials. What are the safety precautions that you must observe in disposing waste materials? Very good. Proper segregation of materials should be observed. Do not mix decaying materials with non-decaying materials. Another, the sharp objects should be placed in a cardboard box and close or tape the box and mark it as trash. Another one, never touch waste materials with your hand. Use adequate equipment in sorting waste materials to avoid puncture from sharp objects. Aside from that, recycling non-decaying waste materials such as plastic bottles, they can made into decoration and pots. Next, we should reuse plastic bags. What are the things you should remember? To dispose of materials properly is to use a technique or procedure we call the Total Recycling Scheme, which utilizes wastes into factory returnables, fertilizers, feeds, fermentable, fuel, fine crops, and filling materials. These are what we identify as then Multi-Apps Recycling Scheme. Another thing to remember, recycling helps to lessen the amount of garbage we have to dispose. Aside from that, proper disposal of human waste is important to avoid pollution of water sources. Waste should never be disposed down sinks, lavatories, ditches, near wildlife habitats, or ponds. Products for disposal should not be mixed together and containers should be clearly labeled. Recycle non-decaying waste materials such as plastic bottles and old magazines and so on. Next, separate materials into biodegradable and non-biodegradable. When you say biodegradable, these are the materials which decay. When you say non-biodegradable, these are materials or substances that do not undergo decay such as plastic and metal. 
And then, recycle means to make something new from something that has been used before. Alright? Please remember all those words. For your last task, please bring out your notebook and pen and answer this. Write correct if the statement shows proper disposal of waste and wrong if not. Go. And now, let's check your answers. For number one, segregating waste into decaying and non-decaying materials. It is correct. For number two, throwing leftover food in canal. It is wrong. Number three, Use gloves or adequate equipment in handling waste materials to prevent puncture by sharp objects. It is correct. Number four, never touch waste materials with your hand. It is correct. And lastly, the sharp objects should be placed in a cardboard box and close or tape the box and mark it as trash. It is correct. Good job, kids! I hope you got a perfect score. And for your assignment, answer this question on your notebook. What necessary precaution are you going to take in disposing the slice of cake with molds? That's all, kids! Thank you, kids, for listening. Stay safe. Bye!